just realized I was starting, so thank you, Wolf. But, like, wherever he went. But um, to, I guess to kick this off, thank you for Civic Hacks and uh, David and Wolf, wherever they're at, for um, you know, inviting me to speak, all the other speakers here. It's a good, great honor to be a, pe a part of this. And you know, that they felt like my story had something that was captivating enough to, to tell on this forum. Um, because a lot of people would assume when they know that I work in a family-owned insurance business that there's not anything entrepreneurial about it. And that's, you know, we're, it's Wolf, Wolf Insurance Group. Um, we've been in business for 55 years, formerly Ohio Insurance Advisors. Uh, and we were a suburban business. Um, my dad bought the business in the late 80s from somebody. So just, you know, a lot of what I heard growing up was you work for your dad or in the last few years, so it must be nice. And people just assume that, you know, you're not an entrepreneur because you're already in the business that's existing, but not realizing, you know, to take that next step, you still have to create your own path. And what I did working for my dad, I was fortunate enough from where he started, you know, Luckily, I was in a position of opportunity in that what he provided for me was he took the step before I ever could of you know, risk taking, paying his own way through college, paying my mom's way through college, being able to provide for myself and my siblings, and you know, paying my way for college, giving me the opportunity and opening the door and our family-owned business. And, you know, without that, I probably wouldn't be here. And my parents are here, so thanks to my dad for that. But, you know, from that point on, he pretty much, which you start to feel old when you're talking about phone books, it walked into my office and gave me a phone book. I was making less than $30,000 a year, which was about 16 years ago and every sin, everything since then was pretty much on my own as far as developing relationship, relationships, networking, and unfortunately selling insurance, which is not ever the sexiest of topics, <laughs> but, thank you. <laughs> but <laughs> when, when you start, you know, when you're, and when you go through that whole process, you start learning that when you're out and you're selling, as long, you know, when you start selling trust and value in a highly commoditized industry like insurance, especially here in Columbus, you, you, know, you, you realize when you're super passionate about something, the product really is just an extension of yourself. And whatever you're selling, it doesn't really matter because people are buying you. So the, the, the product is not relevant, but when people believe in what you're doing, th it's not gonna matter, and you can do anything you wanna do. And you know, within the last year, I went through a tough transition of where you're trying to be empathetic to your father, who has owned a business for 30 years that provided your family, or provided for your family, and it, you know, grew your family, to try to buy him out, and have him still work for you. And that whole thing, rebranding, change your name. I just moved my office downtown to try to, uh, you know, kind of recreate my own identity, um, which is, you know, thanks to Wolf, I've become a Wolf, wherever he's at again, a part of a great um, new element of opportunity because ultimately I just want to give back and help the community. We are connected through somebody who had the same vision and knew that both of us had wanted to do that. And that's, you know, through Wolf, I've become a part of this. And by moving downtown, trying to re-energize my industry with a new movement of, it's tough to get young people in insurance. So if anyone is interested, please call me. <laughs> um, but. I mean, ultimately with that, moving downtown and changing our company name and 
every, you know, it's a very refreshing thing to be a part of this, to be working downtown, and, you know, to go through all of the headache of, I don't know, where's my timer, real quick? Oh, okay, I'm running out. But I, so, if I had to say in less than a minute, I may have went through a process of, because of being a family-owned business in the past, I had nine banks tell me to go screw myself when I was trying to get a loan, because I still had to buy my business. And luckily, a very good friend of mine, who's Mr. Bill Lewis, sitting back there, um, had told me no matter what, that he was gonna help me out if I needed it. But um, Heartland Bank, who's a local bank, which is, you know, being relationship-based is a great thing, um, kind of stepped up, because I'm Scott McComb, who's a golfing friend, said, you know, we, we're going to help you out because we believe in you and what you're trying to do. And, you know, with that, I was able to get a loan when nobody told me I could. And, you know, I understand now what, what the feeling is when you have to make payroll and when, you're, when you go from the feeling of a commissioned employee doing well to not taking any money out, out and not sure, if, you know, not sure if you're going to be able to pay your bills. But, you know, you have lives to protect and people that work for you. So things you're, you know, what is important changes very quickly. And, you know, ultimately, I'm just trying to, to build something that um, is recultivating my industry and the people that believe in what I'm doing so that paying it forward, if, you know, if there's one person that can grasp onto the mission to just you know be willing to take risks and you know even when you're in that fear-based state to still try to find some some sense of balance that you know it's it's still okay to move forward even every even though everything in you is pulling you back and um you know that's that's the that's all you can do is believe in yourself and knowing that everything that we're doing, it's, it's, it's a marathon. I know everybody says this. And, um, you know, short-term setbacks and obstacles are just, you know, redefining our character. And when, when you believe in yourself, there's nothing you can't do. Thank you.